Hi, this is Jacob from the Azure portal. Today I would like to show you how you can take advantage of tags on the Azure portal to manage your resources. So I am on my blog dashboard jg09.net and I have tiles from my app service or web app and also I have tiles from app insights. So if you click right here and click customize, you can filter tiles by tags and here if I choose blog, I have two categories, App Insights and Website, and also I have DB. So um, how I did it, uh, I went to my web app. So here I have linked to my web app on the dashboard. I'll go to my web app and in settings, the settings will open automatically. In the settings, there is a section called tags. I'll filter for it. And here you can see I have tag configured blog website. And I have the same in my App Insights. So if I go to App Insights, it might be a little bit confusing that App Insights is my web app, it's a separated thing because I have monitoring of my web app in App Insights, but App Insights is independent service. I can monitor not only Azure web apps from there. So I'll go to Web Insights now. And here you can see also, I'll search for tags. And I also have tag blog, but with the value App Insights. Uh, and I did the same for my uh, MySQL database. So now um, I would like to do the same for my .NET Conf PL dashboard, which is a separate dashboard. So I'll switch to it and I will go to, first I will go to my web app, .NET Conf PL web app. It's in here. I'll search for tags in my settings. And I will say .NET Conf PL. And I can say website. And click Save. And I will do the same for App Insights from .NET Conf PL. So again, go to .NET Conf PL App Insights. Word file or settings to load. Search for tags. And here I will say dot. You see, I have IntelliSense, I already have the key.conf.pl, and here I will say app insights. I also already use this value somewhere else. I'll click save. And now I have app insights here. It's adding, now it's added. Now I'll go back to my dashboard. And now if I click customize and go to tag, automatically I have tag, and you see I, I don't have it yet here because I need to refresh uh, the portal. So the tags will refresh as well. Okay, portal is back. So now I can click customize. The tile gallery will load on the left hand side and I'll choose tag. And now I can choose .NET Conf PL and I can say website. I can drag whatever I want from there. For example, I can drag the CPU percentage And here I got a notification because this is a shared dashboard that I didn't share these changes yet, but I will just discard this. I'll switch to my personal dashboard, which is .conf PL v2, which is not shared. And here I have also some custom tiles I added. I showed how I did it in my previous videos. So again, I will click one more time, customize. I'll say CPU percentage. I want this in here. And I'll also choose App Insights. And I'll add maybe slowest pages. Let's see what we'll have there. And I click Done Customizing. And I added my resources. So this helps your filtering, that helps you to find your resources. Uh, just take advantage of the tags. Uh, it might make you more productive. If you have, have any questions or suggestions about the Azure portal, uh, please tweet me at Jacob Jedrashek or email me. You can find my email on my blog, jj09.net.